Last weekend, I traveled to Arlington, Texas to attend the U.S. ARC auction at the National Association of Reptile Breeders Conference, but I think that the auction was rigged, and I very may well have gotten ripped off. This is the story of my journey to get there. Stick around to the end to see some bonus footage of some of the coolest reptiles at the show, and yes, I am recording this intro in my wife's closet. In a rental car so my wife doesn't have to take my dumb butt to the airport at 5 in the morning because she's super pregnant. I got, I don't need, uh, Costco. I don't need a boarding pass. Definitely want to have the bag come with me. <laughs> okay, there's that. You're good. Thank you very much. Have a good morning. I just don't want it to get yeah. caught. Okay. Yeah. Got another rental car. My buddy Jason was gonna pick me up, but I just decided that I wanted to be able to get myself to wherever I wanna go and not have to rely on anybody else to do that, so here we are. First things first.
Just kidding. We're here at Earl's in Texas, and we're going to be shooting a video here on how to properly handle venomous reptiles. You can look for that video coming out soon. Um, not in this video, but there will be a link down in the description when this video comes out if you watch this video later or sooner. That makes sense? Look forward to it. It's coming out. Thanks, Earl. Yep. I'm Patrick Knight. We're here for Toxic Positivity. Today's adventure, snake breeders in a mall. How do they interact with normal individuals? How's the day going, sir? Hey, how you doing? We on the news? Yeah, on the news. Oh, Have a good okay. day so far? Yeah, your face looks fair for me. All right, all right. All right. Well, come to realization on this trip is that Patrick McKnight is actually my spirit animal. Oh, that uh, spirit animal. Wow, hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find a basket for my whiskey, John. I need to find a whiskey basket. basket. Whiskey basket. Mm -hmm. It's out this plant feels. Is this the place you're looking for? Yeah. It looks pretty close. Hundreds of stores at this mall, but I don't think a single one has my whiskey basket. I'm gonna have to go to a Target or something. Super Target! Welcome to Toxic Positivity. Still can. A Troy. Talk with Troy Schroeder. And Brian. Well, hello. And welcome. Welcome to Toxic Positivity. <laughs> you look great today, Troy. Tell us about Chimera. Chimera is a world leader in mediocre ball python <laughs> production and average consulting. <laughs> Joe, what does JSA stand for? According to Troy, it's just shitty animals. What do you feel about? <laughs> <laughs> this is how toxic positivity works, folks. Yep. <laughs> He's just mad that I'm genuine friends with Justin. Justin doesn't like me. Oh, it's dark, it's dark, it's too dark. Oh, there we go. I'm fixing it. All right, adjust some ISO. We're looking for a basket. Yeah, like a small, like a wicker basket or something. Just something nice to put some whiskey in for a USR okay. collection. I'm gonna start with these ones, then we're gonna cruise around. Oh, this could be like, let's see, this could be perfect. It could oh, it's 60 be. bucks. We're not gonna pay wow. 60 bucks for that. Um, do we see any other baskets? Looking for a basket. No way. Um, what if you put it in a cage? A cage? Yeah. Okay, look, it's a cage. Oh. People will like it just for the line. For the line, yeah, Brian the line. So we lost everybody else, they went to potty or something? Yeah, I think so. There's Patrick. It's not a basket, but I think it's better. Nice work, better. Troy. Nice work, Troy. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're shooting Sony, by the way. Gotta get that dynamic range. Oh. I didn't consent to this. Thank you. No, no, thank you guys. Appreciate it. You're, no, fine. you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, all good. Filming content and checking out all at the same time for you, start, guys. This right here. Oh, got it. Troy, did you make sure to check out? Hey, Rockstars, Dad. Come She's here, Rockstar. <laughs> 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 this is oh, a good picture. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa is awesome. If you ever get a chance to meet Vanessa at the show, this is the person you want to talk to at USR, not Phil. <gasps> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought my whiskey basket is gonna be pretty cool and maybe fetch some decent coin at the USR auction, which God willing it will. This thing that I've got right down here, Timberline and Zoomed put together something really awesome for USR auction. And I have to share that with you guys. So the highest bidder on this belt will win it, and then their name will get engraved on a little metal medallion on the back on this belt, and it'll get passed around for eight shows, and the highest bidder will win it and have it displayed on their table at each, each time they win it. And then after eight shows, whoever has spent the most money winning this belt will get the belt. And it's like, this is a legit heavy, super cool belt. And, uh, I just thought it was perfect to share for this video since a lot of the story about it was me getting my stuff for the US Arc auction, so. Um, yeah, stoked. Any words of wisdom, Todd, about the belt? Never wear it 
through a TSA checkpoint. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's good to have good friends. Bro, you need, you need to get a adjustable tent. Yeah, tell me about it. Because from Republic, Dominican Republic, you need to have this one. Cigars are legal. Not from Cuba. So I said that from Cuba, Republic of Dominic, and then I went to the Fourth and the Five, Five Fifty, Six Hundred Air, Air Six Fifty. Yeah. Six Fifty right here. Let's go. 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 Let's go.